Welcome to a lesson on applications from geometry using polynomials. In our first example, we're asked to write a polynomial in simplest form that represents the area of the square. We're actually going to solve this problem twice using two different methods. For the first method, to find the total area, we'll find the area of this small square A, then we'll find the area of rectangle B, and then we'll find the area of rectangle C, and finally the area of rectangle D, and then we'll find the sum of these four areas to determine the total area. But before we begin, for review, if we have a rectangle with dimensions L by W, then the area is equal to L times W, and if we have a square with dimensions S by S, then the area is equal to S times S, or S squared. So going back over to our diagram, we'll begin by determining the area of this small square A, which has dimensions X by X. So the area of A is equal to X times X, which equals X squared. Now we'll look at rectangle B. Notice how this length is Y. The length of this side here would be the same as this length here, which is X. So the dimensions of the rectangle B is X by Y, and therefore the area is equal to X times Y, which equals XY. Now looking at rectangle C, again this length here would be X, so rectangle C also has dimensions X by Y, so the area is X times Y, the same as area of rectangle B, which equals XY. And then finally the area of this square here, square D, notice square D has dimensions Y by Y, and therefore the area of D is equal to Y times Y, which equals Y squared. So the area of the large square would be the sum of these four areas. So the total area is equal to X squared plus XY plus XY plus Y squared. But notice how we have two middle terms that are like terms, XY and XY, where the coefficients are both one so xy plus xy is equal to 2xy. So the total area is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now we're going to solve this problem again using a different technique. Let's determine the dimensions of this large square. Well if this side has length x and this side has length y, the total length would be x plus y. And the same thing is true for this side of the square the total length here would be x plus y. So the dimensions of this square is x plus y by x plus y, and therefore the area of the square is equal to the quantity x plus y squared, which if we want to multiply this out, would be the quantity x plus y times the quantity x plus y. So let's go ahead and find this product, and we know the product should match the area we found above. So to multiply, we'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. So we have x times x, that's x squared, plus x times y, that's xy. So we found these two products. y times x is equal to yx or xy, so plus xy. And finally we have y times y, which is y squared, so plus y squared. Once again, we have two like terms here, same as above, where the coefficients are one. So this simplifies to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. The same total area we found using our first method. Now for our second example, we're asked to write a polynomial in simplest form that represents the area of the shaded region or the region shaded here in blue. Well notice how the area of the large square would be y times y or y squared. And the area of one small square here with dimensions x by x would be x times x, or x squared. So our strategy to find the area of the shaded region will be to find the area of the large square, and then subtract the area of the four smaller squares inside. So we'll subtract one, two, three, four areas, of the small squares. I just notice we're missing an S here that should say square. Well, 
we know the area of the large square is y squared, so the area of the shaded region is going to be y squared, and then minus the area of the four white squares, so minus x squared, minus x squared, minus x squared, and minus x squared. Notice how because we're subtracting this area four times, we could just write y squared minus four x squared, which is what we'll get when we combine our like terms. Notice all the coefficients here would be negative one, so this simplifies to y squared minus four x squared. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.